Well, at least Darius Smith chose a team that likes to wear purple, right? YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And a video that I know a lot of Ravens fans are not going to be too fond of because they did not like that Zadarius Smith changed his mind on the Ravens, even though a lot of teams change their mind on the players all the time. But that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Zadarius Smith, former Baltimore Raven, former Green Bay Packer. He kind of a, is a former Raven again. <laughs> now he will be joining uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Lined up opposite of Daniil Hunter. If the Vikings end up keeping him around. I know there's been some trade rumors here and there. But just imagine that. Imagine a healthy Daniil Hunter. With a healthy Zadarius Smith. Chasing quarterbacks. The Vikings, they rolled out the red, well, more so purple carpet uh, for Zadarius Smith as he was in town. Uh, they, we, of course, all saw the, the, the picture of him and, and his face on the big jumbotron. And, and it was crazy. It's like you, you knew this signing was coming because what team puts on their social media? Because I've never seen this before. Let me know if y'all have seen it before. What team puts on their social media that they have a player in for a visit? I don't see that. I see it from the beat writers and the reporters and stuff, but not from the team directly. Like, hey, we having Zadarius Smith in for a visit. Maybe they were just being petty to those Packers and maybe to the Ravens too, but more so probably the Packers. But this is a good pickup uh, for the, uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Now, the talk of the town was when Zadarius turned down the Baltimore Ravens, a lot of people were like, oh, Zadarius Smith, he turned down the Ravens. I doubt he's going to get any more money than what the Ravens offered him. I just don't see him getting any more bread than what the contract the Ravens offered him. Zadarius Smith and his agent and the Vikings, they said, shut all that noise up because it's false. They end up getting more money. And let's just do a quick comparison. So from the Ravens, it was a four-year deal. Uh, worth 35 mil. So that's 8.75 mil per. So a little under 9 mil per. Uh, but with the Vikings, he gets a, what is this? A three-year deal with the base value of $42 million. And he has the opportunity, if he hits all of his incentives, to make it go to 47 mil. So just the base alone, we ain't, we ain't even going to be worried about the max, but the base alone, three years, 42 mil, 14 mil per, 14 mil per, Four. <laughs> so my guy, he almost doubled, he almost doubled the money that he was getting from the Ravens or that he would have gotten from the Ravens and he cashes out with the Vikings. Again, so many people tried to call Darius Smith dumb for changing his mind. So many people said this and that in the third. But guess what? It works out for him. I, I was talking to one of my guys that was saying, man, why would the, the Vikings bring in Darius Smith if, if they don't even have that much cap room? And I told him, I said, the cap is cap. If a player really, if a team really wants a player, they will find a way to get that player. They will find a way to make it work. And the Vikings... They did just that. So, hey, that's that. And I know it's going to be like, oh, man, he did dirty business with the Ravens. NFL is a very dirty business. It is a very dirty business. There's so many teams. Y'all have seen it. I know y'all have seen it. And if you feel like you haven't seen it, then maybe that's because you just may not have wanted to see it or wanted to believe it. But the NFL is a very dirty business. And so many teams do players dirty every single year. Every single year. It's okay if a player changes his mind. It happens. It's life. Uh, but Zadarius Smith now is, instead of chasing quarterbacks for Aaron Rodgers to help him out, to be like, all right, Aaron Rodgers, I'm going to go get a sack on this quarterback and I, so you can go throw some more touchdowns. Instead of doing that, now he'll be chasing Aaron Rodgers himself. And he'll be chasing Justin Fields and he'll be chasing Jared Goff. And yeah. Anyway, um, good move. Uh, Vikings are getting a good player. Um, they getting somebody. Like I said, if he's healthy, oh boy, yeah, they set. They 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 are set uh, on that edge. Um, Zadarius Smith is not only he's and he's not only one of these guys that just gets pressures. He he's a quality pass rusher that gets the pressures, which you want, but also puts up the sack numbers, which you also want too. 
So it's a double whammy. So good move for the Vikings. Zadarius Smith, he does, again, remain in purple. It wasn't the original purple, but he still remains in purple. So I guess he was destined to be wearing those colors, purple and yellow, purple and gold, uh, this season. So shout out to Z.